Hi there. Let's take a look in this short video at a concept that is very closely associated with takeovers and mergers. It's a concept called synergy. Now, I've mentioned takeovers and mergers. Of course, those are just two of several ways in which a business can grow externally outside of its normal operations. Uh, but synergy is also a concept that works well and is used to justify uh, joint ventures and strategic alliances. So what is it? Well, uh, in very broad terms, synergy is something that happens when you put two things together and as a result of putting two things together, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. The whole is greater than the things that you put into the mix. That's the concept of synergy. And you might express that as an equation for the mathematicians amongst you will be looking at that, expressing some puzzlement as to how one plus one could equal three. But that is the concept of synergy. So to explain it uh, in perhaps a slightly different way, imagine that uh, you have the opportunity to put together a simple plate of Christmas pudding on its own. Fine. But you might also be able to add into the mix some custard which, again, on its own is fine. You probably wouldn't eat it, on it, on it, eat it on its own. But, of course, you put the two together. And I would argue huge synergy is arising. Christmas pudding coated with hot custard is the perfect festive meal. That is the concept of synergy. The resulting Christmas pudding coated in custard is worth much more than the sum of the two constituent ingredients. Here's another illustration for you. It's always worth remembering why double acts are so impressive. If you took Ant on his own, that would be fine. Great presenter. Deck on his own, that would be cool. But put them together, and what do you get? You get a classic example of synergy in action, a double act. That's the concept of synergy. And of course, if we express that in business terms, uh, what we can do is relate it to business transactions, such as takeovers. So this was a, a, a retail takeover that uh, took place in 2016. And the question facing the board of Sainsbury's as it decided whether or not to buy Argos was whether synergy may occur by putting together these two very well-known and very popular and large uh, retail businesses. Well, in the news, synergy is always there in the background whenever you're looking at how well takeovers or mergers are performing. And I've just taken a clip here from a recent press article uh, where Sainsbury's have been forced by investment analysts to uh, to defend the price they paid for Argos, which was £1.4 billion back in 2016. And uh, in, in doing so, they have pointed to a series of synergies that they expect to arise from the takeover. So Sainsbury's announcing a further half a billion pounds worth of uh, cost savings as a result of merging or taking over Argos. And also they're looking for around about 160 million of revenue synergies. We'll mention what those are in a few minutes time. So look out for these examples of synergy in the news. Here's another one from uh, an even more recent takeover. Lloyds Banking Group, which of course owns uh, Halifax, has uh, agreed to buy a UK based credit card business called NBNA. And it's paying just short of two billion pounds for it. And as a consequence of the transaction, by putting the two businesses together, it expects a £650 million increase in annual revenues. Those are revenue synergies, but also, uh, and also to make some cost savings, cost synergies of around £100 million per year once they've managed to integrate the two businesses. So that gives you a bit of a clue for where to look for synergies. They are both cost savings and uh, increases in sales. So just to finish off, just to remember that when you look at synergies, there are two, two potential sources here. And of course, uh, in some transactions, they can both be achieved. Cost savings, perhaps the easiest to achieve, the easiest to identify. If you've got two businesses with similar organisations, uh, operations, management structures, almost certainly there'll be an opportunity to eliminate some duplicated management positions and services, perhaps to negotiate using your better bargaining power, some better prices from suppliers, perhaps to improve the capacity, capacity utilisation of the uh, the production that you retain in the two businesses and of course generally a bigger business may be able to obtain significant economies of scale thereby reducing unit costs perhaps the harder synergies to obtain certainly in the short term are what's known as sales or revenue synergies this is where by putting two businesses together 
you may be able to increase the overall sales of both businesses. A couple of examples there. One perhaps that one of the businesses may have significantly better distribution than the other. Or it may have some experience in a particular geographic market that it can make available to its new partner. So there we go, guys. That's an overview of what's meant by the concept of synergy.